Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we are here finally with the start of a new series, Willow, which I'm super excited about. Initially, when it was first announced, I actually did not really know what it was because I had not seen the original movie that it was based off of. So I recently, probably a few months back, watched the movie for the first time, and it was a lot of fun. It was surprisingly really entertaining and silly and whimsical and I laughed and cried unsurprisingly but um so I'm really excited about this this world they have created was really um interesting and really fun I liked that uh, the protagonist and all the different I don't know it was just the the comedic vibe of it was really lighthearted and enjoyable so I think that's really needed um, especially right now, I think it's good for people to remember their um, childhood memories and the fantasy world we create in our minds. So, and I think they did a good job in the movie. So even even with the horrifying elements, such as the pig transformation, which ugh, that was nightmare fuel. But anyways, but we're gonna continue on this series that they created, which is exciting. And I love that they have cast returning. So that'll be a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too. So let's get started with the first episode, episode one, The Gales. So let's get to it. In a time of dread. Here we go. Nice. A child was born. Nice. Laura Dannon. Destined to save our world. A Nelwyn farmer who dreamt of being a sorcerer. So cute. Willow was a man of pure I love their heart family. And unfailing courage. An impossibly conceited thief, liar, and rogue. Yeah, he was pretty funny though. He did well. Mad Martigan was the man I'd marry. So I this is her kid. narrating. Soon after returning home, Willow had a vision. One day, an ancient evil would rise again. So was she never told of her abilities when she was super young, or did they wipe her memory? The Iron Mask! That's what I think of when I see that kind of mask. She's from Marvel! Yo, yeah, well, don't beat yourself up about it. Interesting. Don't still Those think about that. lights over there. You know, going beyond the barrier. Oh, the barrier. Having these... Wild adventures. Prince, I believe, is hunting in the western wood. Hunting? I wonder who's hunting today. Aha! Caught. You have this effect on me. It's just like nothing I've ever experienced before. He gets too. around. Just didn't think that you felt that way. Not. Yeah, that you're not. You're not I selling it. I love you. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Your lordship. Not gonna break your heart. Eric, you're gonna lose interest, and yes, then you're gonna move on to the next. It's hmm. like the one way you're totally consistent. He does have consistent. fabulous no. hair. <laughs> you're picking out my clothes now. What am I, six years old? Well, I shouldn't have to, but when you neglect your responsibilities for your hobbies, you leave me no choice. And have you spoken to him yet? Yes, I curtsied. Oh, that's who like she has to marry. Mm. Nothing gets through the barrier ever. Yeah, Did the barrier like, exist in the clean, original movie? I, I don't recall. Sick. I actually made the wine. Mm. And he was great. He was a knight of Galadorn. Well, Mad Master came. Yeah. We all grew up on stories of your parents. How they rescued Alora Dunnan from Queen Bav Mordor in the Battle of Nokmar. And it's a boy. Nobles of the realm. He seems but to care, one. at least. He's a flirt, but maybe he doesn't like her. moons since the Knights of Galadorn vanquished Bavmorda's legions and freed Terra's lean from its hands. So, we're assuming her friend is Elora, the redhead. My well, is to bring me a slice of cake. Why are you down here? Yes, why? Well, maybe it's because you want me to tell you not to force your daughter into a loveless marriage. You know I don't have a choice. Well, how long can you keep it up? As long as I have to. Who is this? I've been accepted to train with the Shining Legion kit. To become a Knight of Galador. Whoa. But they don't... Tomorrow? Well, I wanted to tell you before, but I just didn't know how to... Kit. 
Yeah, that's Can't kind of a blow all of a sudden. So, we're getting married. That's weird, right? You don't even know me. I am grateful for the opportunity to serve the realm. Sorry, oh, excuse me. Just hey, I am getting acquainted with my battle. battle. Our mysterious stranger bested the knight and removed his helmet. And can you guess who that was? It's Princess Teramis. She secretly entered the tournament to fight for herself. Is this just a quick word, please? I tried that already. Why don't you make yourself useful? Say there was a Someone gasping for putting we a pumpkin on his head. <laughs> or she's just uh, angry. Mm. You embarrassed the prince. Go of me. You embarrassed me. I don't care. And you just showed everyone in that room. Exactly what that we you stopped seeing each other. Wait, I... Seeing I've, you I... with those just, uh, made me crazy. Made me mad. And I was so distracted, I... Distracted I again. My muffins. Oh, no. yes. Not the oh. I never burn anything ever. <laughs> and I suddenly realized how can I expect you, the prince, to commit to me, Muffin Girl, when you've got countesses and trollops shamelessly throwing themselves at Okay, what uh, if I did? What if I was ready to commit? Don't huh? make I know it's not the greatest marriage proposal of all time. In fact, it might be the worst. But what if it was. What if it was better? Is that definitely something that we can discuss? On the barrier. Yep, okay. I'm like, I'm not crazy, am I? All right, she's, uh, she's leaving the big kingdom, going past the barrier. Oh, these must be them. And a necromancer zombie man. Oh, piss! Gosh, sorry. Oh, mom, that's right. She was a great warrior. I Poor boy. Oh, I don't like that head thing. Why? Why you do this? Oh, okay. Relatively careful. Okay, so he knows how to handle it. Let our love be your strength. Right. <laughs> Definitely gonna do that. <laughs> okay. Seat. What is oh, he? Reefers. Something else. Something worse. Fellas. Is he a mage? Oh, ooh. Oh my gosh. See, this world's cool. They got some cool magic. Person does. Oh, ooh. Oh no. Nope. 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 No, thank you. I feel like. No. I'm like, they ain't gonna be killing her first episode. No. Ooh. Oh man, I'm sorry. I thought you were totally gonna let go of her. <laughs> I think he's what they came for. They're seeing Eric was kidnapped. We have to find him. We have to rescue him. I appreciate your affection for the prince, but these are serious matters. Mother, I, I said I think I should go west to search for Eric. I heard you. And I agree. And it's no place oh. for children. Be their guide. And I'll pardon all your You're crimes. You're going to need a sorcerer. Sorcerer? Terrific. Okay, all the sorcerers are gone. There's one. And Elwyn lives in a village on the River Freen. Are we gonna see it? And I have a feeling he's expecting you. I'm counting on you as I would any night. Aww. What a team. Oh no. 
He's getting corrupted. Oh. Uh uh. No. Absolutely not. I want to help rescue the prince. Tough. Go home. You don't understand. We're in love. I don't know how to break it to you, but Eric has been in love with quite. Not like this. Not like us. I love their outfits. I think I'm a fool fine. This. I don't care. I can do other stuff. Whatever you need. Tend horses, and somebody's got to cook, right? Are oh, you really good? I'm phenomenal. She's not coming with us, Borman. You heard the princess. <laughs> You're going back to tear us in the morning. Line. She's gonna woo them with her cooking. So what can you cook out here? Possum stew. Wow. <laughs> I knew it. But what is the barrier, actually? Thank it's you. a force field forged by Rizal and Shalindria to protect the realm. It was a refuge for those who wanted a life that was more than just survival. That's depressing, but it's not why they built the barrier. He's it right. was built for Elora Dannon. What happened to her? People say she's dead. But the prophecy says that one day she'll return and unite the world against forces of darkness. We peer into the void. We bear witness to his glory, the eternal one, the healer of worlds. Girl, you As he stirs from his deathless slumber deep below the surface. Girl. And now your horse just sits over there by himself. Nice. Okay, so it's not like gonna kill you. It won't let things in, or what's the what's the just evil can't come in? Okay, so you can just go in through it forever. What did I say? You're not the boss of me, princess. Not out here. I like it. I think we should keep it. Nobody asked you, Borman. Shut up, Borman. Enough. <laughs> we don't have time for your if you're not vigilant at each moment. I swear you will not survive. I saw that coming. Oh. Sad. Bone reefers. Albert, you're supposed to be dead. Well, that's not me, mate. I think you're thinking of someone else. I had a feeling. Too. I keep saying that. Sorry. Poor horses. I imagine they fell on deep water. One day you and I are gonna be in charge. And when that day comes, we don't have to do things the way our parents did. Where did everybody go? Oh, that king is terrific. Just what I need. Oh, good. What happened to you? Plenty. Oh. And if you're not careful, it'll happen to you. Too. You're Willow. Yep, no. that's me. She told Willow. me that once long ago you stood I, together against the forces of evil and Willow. defeated them. It's okay. She is who she claims to be. How do you know? I, I remember her mine. So there are all that's left? Oh, Willow. I <laughs> had you though, didn't I? Yeah. I didn't read your mind. It's just, you remind me of your mother. Oh, sorry, did you say beyond the Shattered Sea? Okay. Willow's like so confident Princess, about I've it. I've traveled all across the world and I've met some real magical Marvins, but I've never met anyone who crossed the Shattered Sea. That's where all the maps end. And that's where we must go. Uh. Is she Alora? LFL. Darren. She's like. Thorn Revelos. I actually didn't see it's that me. coming. Nobody. You are Alora Dannon. Last blood of Chimeria, future empress, high priestess, sent from sources of the Nine Realms, best hope against the evil coming to destroy us all. What? Wow. <laughs> Can you imagine? Wow. I love it. So I was thinking, because I felt like the baby was breadheaded. I thought it was Jade, but I love, I love that. <laughs> I love the, <laughs> that they are playing into like the real emotion. She's like, you just gave me all of these titles. Like I'm this big deal, this person from a history that everyone's aware of. And I was just a nobody baker. 
and now you're telling me I'm this person from Legends? Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So, wow, that's cool. So uh, we're obviously assuming, you know, we all, we only saw her as a baby, but that, that she has magical abilities. Like she has, she's sorceress. So that's cool. We're gonna see her abilities evolve and I mean, I love this little misfit crew we have. I'm, I'm always, I, it's always fun to have like these adventure groups of people that are like, don't seem like they fit together, but we definitely see where each person plays into. Borman's definitely one of my favorite characters so far because he's <laughs> very comedic in his facial expressions. And he's, he's almost like the audience. Like he's pointing out scenarios that, you know, we probably notice and he's very, he reacts like you would expect. So it's just, yeah, I love it. It's really funny. So yeah, it's, um, I like it because they have, it has the same vibe that the movie had. Serious, but they don't take themselves serious, you know? And it's it's very fantastical and it's very fun and lighthearted and, but it doesn't discredit the seriousness of it all. Like there's brutality in this world and that there's mystical power that's going on. Like all of those four gales or whatever you want to call those, those mystics had really cool like abilities in themselves and they all looked like different formations like almost like they were again like necrotic or necromancer like experiments but um so yeah it was really cool to see like poof 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 that guy and whatever he did some corruption a spell on the knight's guard leader what's the name i forgot and he's slowly getting corrupted which goes to show like is he gonna convert into something bad and like start slowly taking over the castle in their own way or what's gonna happen there but they were obviously hinting to that did not expect the prince to be taken that was definitely a surprise it makes me wonder are they trying to like so they obviously said they just wanted to get one of them bloodlines as the mom said from this evil sorcerer right and so perhaps they're trying to either like possess him or extract something from him um something like that or brainwash who knows but these this ability this power lives within them i thought it was cool that they're doing things different than the status quo like the girl um this kit is like a really good swordsman and i like that he's like oh yeah i'm like the second best and she's like the first and that he that the brother got taken and you know, so it's fun that they're doing like opposite or different than like the usual status quo. So, but again, overall, the feeling of the original movie is same in this show so far. It's really fun and entertaining. Um, again, interesting, but still like lighthearted to be like easy watching. Like I still feel like the vibes that I'm getting from these other fantasy shows like Ring of Power or like Star Wars or House of Dragon or, or whatnot. But again, it's not like, it's not as brutal and it doesn't have to, it doesn't, it's not as like gory, I guess you could say. It's not like, it's not like Game of Thrones or the boys level of gore, but you can see that it's brutal still like that doesn't stop them from having these again these mystics come in and start slaughtering people or these bone reavers coming in and taking them out and taking out like their lead guy from the beginning so yeah it's it's fun that we can have that without having it just like literally explode in our face so yeah overall i'm, I'm liking it and i'm excited to see more i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction review and the show as well if you want to support this channel and me, don't forget to like the video if you've enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already, because that's the best way to be alerted when my videos go live, as we don't follow a specific schedule. Yeah, that's the main part. It supports and it lets you know when videos go live. So check it out. We have plenty more. I believe this is an eight, eight episodes season. So we have seven more at least episodes to go and other things in the future. So thanks guys for being here. Hope you're doing well and I'll see you on the next one.